just came back from watching Faster, and I thought that this movie was actually pretty bad. I didn't like it, and there was only a couple of good things about it. It was supposed to be an interesting thriller movie, but I found it to be too much bullshit and just boring. Dwayne The Rock Johnson plays a driver, and what he does is bank heist with his friend. One of his friends is really close, and he calls him his brother. Now, what happens in this movie is that the bank heist... He gets away from the cops and that's his job. That's all he has to do is get away from the cops because he's the driver. And he gets away. But what happens is there are other people who found out that they robbed the bank. So they go to their house, to the Rock's house, to take the money that they stole from the bank from them. And not only that, but they killed the Rock's brother. And now the Rock is pissed. But after that, the Rock goes to jail also. So now... He's in jail, waiting to get out, so he can kill all these guys. So what this movie is about, is The Rock obviously getting back at the people that killed his brother and whatever. But there's also Billy Bob Thornton tracking him down. And then there's another hitman also involved, trying to kill The Rock so that he doesn't kill everybody else. And that guy... I swear to God, he looks exactly like Jake Gyllenhaal, but he's not Jake Gyllenhaal. And he has the hottest wife, and he is going into being a hitman? Son, if I had a wife like that, I would not be doing that. I would try to freaking preserve my life as long as I can, because that bitch is fine. This movie sucks because there is very poor character development. The brother that we know that The Rock is close with... We don't see the relationship that much. We just see him looking at the photo and we barely see some scenes of them being close. So there is no feeling between the audience and The Rock and The Rock's brother. So it just feels forced. What I like about this movie is The Rock because he's finally back to that ass kicking motherfucker that everybody loves. You know, he's not that Disney fucking bullshit that he did before that did the tooth fairy and the game plan and now he's I think might be back to the movies that he should have been doing in the first place so what else sucks about this movie is the rock kills these guys like it's nothing he just takes out a gun and shoots them in the head pretty much like it's so I don't want to ruin this movie I don't want to spoil it but it's just so freaking easy it should have been a little bit more difficult killing these guys but Dwayne the Rock Johnson's performance kind of, it's, it would have been better if they gave him more lines, but he doesn't talk that much in this movie. He just looks threatening. Kind of like the Terminator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's exactly what they went with with the Rock in this movie. But Billy Bob Thornton, oh my god, he is hilarious in this movie. Like, this movie wasn't that great, but just Billy Bob Thornton, every time he was on the screen, I just liked it. I like how Billy Bob Thornton played the cop, where it just looks like, you know, he doesn't even look like a cop. He just looks like a regular guy. And he doesn't really care. And he's so close to retirement. That's Billy Bob Thornton in this movie. And that is what I expect from Billy Bob Thornton. It's just hilarious to watch. Another thing that sucks though is the ending. I mean, it's better than the conventional ending that you think that you would get with this movie. It does have a twist in this movie. But the twist isn't that great. I mean, you can guess it. Like, once you see 20 minutes of this movie, you could probably know what the twist is in this movie. The directing in this movie was just okay, it was nothing special. I mean, there was one scene where I was like, oh, that's nice. But after that, that's it. Like, it's just ordinary directing that almost anybody can do. I'm going to rate this movie 6 out of 10. And I would have rated it higher if the ending was better, if I cared more about The Rock's brother in this movie, because that relationship is supposed to be very important in this movie. And to me, it's like a joke. So I would recommend this to anybody who doesn't care about story and just wants to see a fun action movie because that's what this tends to be. A fun action movie. So go watch it if you like that. Plus, subscribe because a lot more stuff is coming. Just subscribe because it's free and there's going to be a lot more new stuff like I said earlier. Including the Dark Knight Rises update.